Hello, this video is going to show you how to configure two Cisco switches in an LACP trunk. So I've got two 2950s here, old switches no, but they still work. Uh, so we'll configure ports 2 and 3 on here, we'll go and move ports 23 and 24 over to 2 and 3. Um, we'll go through the configuration for this. So first thing we need to do is we need to configure two ports on switch 1 and two ports on switch 2 uh, to be in dot one q trunk mode and add them to the port channel group. So we'll go into the uh, first lot of interfaces here. Uh, we can only set it to dot one q and can't set the encapsulation mode on here. So we'll just set that on the trunk. Uh, we do the allow VLANs on dot one q here and <coughs> excuse me we will configure no negotiate on port and we will add it to channel group number two mode active sets it to LACP mode you can do other modes as well uh, but LACP is what we're going to use for this video uh, we go into the other switch we do the same on that uh, so we do the configuration again the same um, once we've done this configuration we'll have a look at the ether channel group settings and have a, a quick monitor of that to see what the state of the group is and just uh, switch these ports around so we just do the configuration here and we set that to the same channel group number that's obviously important they both uh, those ports need to be a member of the same group if you got a port on another group it's not going to work uh, so we just save uh, this configuration that we just saw there uh, what we're going to do now is have a look at the ether channel and you'll see it's on 23 and 24 so we're going to move from 23 and 24 to 2 and 3 lot we've just configured and we'll just write the configuration there we'll show the the channel on this switch again 23 and 24 so the top terminal is connected via SSH by the way and the bottom one is connected via COM port so on the COM port you can see all the link stakes coming up on the screen and that is uh, the port we just disconnected so I'm just doing some of this in the background at the moment uh, while I'm breaking my neck trying to jump off the chair and lean over and unplug these ports and this room is a mess so just doing that so it's important to remember that you need to know about dot one q you need to know about vlans and how these work um lacp can be a bit flaky sometimes uh okay that's the other ports down and also remember about spanning tree uh because it does that there uh lose connection to the switch i had um both of those channel groups plugged in on the same VLAN at one time so caused a, a, a little bit of a crash of the network usually it wouldn't do that so we'll just um, have a look to see if the interface is blocked or rather the uh, line is down on there if I can type correctly and also speak correctly as well which is not going to work. Uh, I don't want to show the switch port, I want to show the interface. You nana. Come on. There we go. Line protocols down. So uh, Cisco will disable the port if it sees an STP uh, loop there. So we'll go into that interface and bring it up. And go in the interface. I need to learn to type faster we'll bring it up you'll see everything come up now there we go there's a port channel uh, but only one port I think I can see on the switch hang on a sec a sort that out and just get putty open here a sec 
So log in to one nine two one six eight zero dot two five four. There we go. Let's bring that there and sort these cable out. Hang on a sec. There we go. Okay, so that's uh, all working. Port channel on two and three. We'll just log into this switch like this. We'll have a look at the ether channel on the first switch. Yeah, great. It's up on two and three there. So we'll just do the same on this switch. And if it's the same, that's done. All working. And if I can just show that correctly, show the ether channel. Yeah, two and three. Cheers, guys. That's how you do it. And 